Water signs, welcome back to the channel. Antonio here with another tarot card reading for the collective man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel as we continue to grow. We're manifesting here. The message is spreading using the everyday witch tarot here, along with the moonology oracles and the uh, romance angel oracles as well. Yeah. Knocking the readings out for today. It's going to be a short reading here. All right. Ooh. Jammed up energy here. What's going on with the water signs? Hmm. Jumpers. So, for water signs grounding you today, we have the Tower, Cancerian Energy. Hmm. So, what's going on here with the water signs? Moon card could be dealing with the Cancer. So, hidden activity or nighttime uh, activity, dark energy here. We're getting occultism, witchery, brewing something here. Could be dark plans here. I actually took a picture of a cat today, a black cat, baby black kitten. Posted on my social medias. The magician, two major arcana back to back here. So we have the moon, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the magician, which is Aries, Gemini, and then grounding the reading, we have the tower here. Someone's manifesting something here. maybe come out of a situation here or uh, something crumbled and now they're showing champion potential here another major arcana the star Aquarius past and future communication here information internet worldwide web could be children involved as well two of cups a relationship here so someone's initiating or manifesting a relationship here it could be dealing with a cancer Sun, moon, rising here. Two of cups. Mm, opposites attract. As above, so below here with the star card. Ace of pentacles. Finances are coming into this equation as well. So if it's not a relationship, this is uh, business opportunities. Could be some type of store. Or online shopping store, it could be. A windfall of some sorts. A celebration or a trophy could be nine of cups wish fulfillment here mm, am I getting traveling I'm not sure two of cups with the nine of cups wish fulfillment this is deep attraction here so if this is not self-development this is a very strong attractive uh, individual here we're getting hope Judgment here. Hmm. Could be the divine stepping in or realizing something here. Getting an aha moment. Maybe someone past your periphery and you're realizing that um, they have a lot of qualities that you desire here. This is a cat being distracted by the butterfly. So, you know, butterflies are not stagnant. They come and go. So someone came across your periphery and you're realizing that they have the talents or skills that you're wanting to um, invest in here. Six of Wands. Victorious here. 15 minutes of pain, fame, pretty much. You have a victory over some type of physical situation here. This could be a gym moment or some type of celebration here. Um, stage presence here. Everyone's attracted to this particular individual here. Again, typically a celebrity. The star is my celebrity. And the six of wands is my 15 minutes of fame. So you're attracting a lot of people here. They're wanting to have some type of uh, emotional relationship here with you. They're, fi uh, they're manifesting you here. Maybe through their thoughts or their dreams. It could also be daydreaming about you here as the Nine of Cups. This is meditation. A wish fulfillment here. 
Again, we're wanting uh, someone to uh, invest in you here, a financial investor. We're also getting justice here. It could be dealing with the Libra, a lot of major arcana here. So bringing a right decision into the situation here. This could be a spiritual awakening or a spiritual expansion here. The moon deals in dreams and visions. The magician is a ma uh, a manifester. The star is Aquarius. That's hope. Could be astral travel involved here when justice comes into play. Spiritual awakening. Judgment. Definitely some type of a court procedure here. Could be dealing with a lawyer or some type of a judge. The high council, the spiritual council here is what I'm getting here. Or so that would be your conscious. So your your conscious is weighing the pros and cons of a particular uh, love situation here, or some type of financial situation here, or maybe finances could affect your love, or love could affect your finances. Nine of Wands, very guarded energy. Hmm. Okay, so if this is her, if this is her judgment, she's going through a lot here. But I'm not sure if this is the same individual. It could be different people. Yeah. Hmm. So, very interesting message here. The tower, the moon, the magician, the star. Dealing with a lot of major arcanas here. One, two, three, four five six sixes entails victory here which is showing up here with the six of wands so you're approaching um new endeavors you're approaching a celebrity moment or star quality here you're performing some type of art that's drawing people towards you here with the two of cups they're looking at you as a star or a celebrity or you're being highlighted at this time you may receive some type of award i'm not sure if you're a content creator six of wands nine of wands with the nine of cups that's six 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 nine 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 self-care so you've transformed some type of um self-love energy or you learned a lot about yourself to perform some type of hidden talent that you had developed magician energy manifesting here or manipulating the energies around you to bring hope into the situation you're securing your future here could be a marriage involved here two of cups ace of pentacles coming right after the two of cups a relationship or healing yourself uh from within doesn't always have to be a relationship. You can you can practice self love and heal yourself. Could be detoxing as well with the star card. That's Aquarius uh, dumping water onto the earth plane, detoxing. Justice here, Libra. Libra star, both air signs. The magician is an air sign as well, Gemini. So you're definitely dealing with air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone can have that somewhere around their birth chart. Sun, moon, and rising. Let's see what the moonology has to say before we close out the reading. Judgment and the moon. Hmm. Some type of hidden potential here. You're going to be triggered into some type of spiritual awakening or spiritual expansion here. Show the world the real you. Yeah, you're going to be triggered into uh, or you're going to be pressured into showing your true self. I mean, it's not really anything to fear. I mean, again, there's a reason why um, people love you. You have some type of particular artistic talent, some type of mental ability or something like that. When people request you, like literally when people request you, there's nothing to be afraid of. The victory is already won. Six of wands. <laughs> it's not like you have to prove yourself to anyone anymore. And then we have a new romantic cycle uh, begin. So yeah, you don't have to prove yourself to anyone. The people that are already coming towards you and attracted to you are the people that you should do business with. The people that you should collaborate with. 
a personal issue reaches I mean, a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer cancer has to do with nurturing grounding and the home life could be starting a some type of home business again the empress doesn't come down off of her off of her high horse which the libra is again you're dealing with a, an air sign here maybe a libra we have justice here Someone that could be embodying very honest, truthful, bold Empress energy here. Could be embodying Libra energy. Seeking justice. Oh, the book that she's holding, it actually says law on it. <laughs> when we see the Empress, she's typically holding the Torah or the Bible. But the justice here, Libra is actually holding the Bible. I mean, sorry, it's, she's holding the law book. It literally says ALW, which I've been posting on my social media pages for the past few months. All right, Romance Angel says, Honeymoon. Could be marriage here. Ace of Pentacles. That entails a windfall, finances, or a new way to make money. Or sometimes even a new relationship or a sealing of a relationship in marriage. And marriage is not the end-all, be-all. That's actually the beginning of a true relationship. Right next to the Two of Cups. We're having passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Passions are involved here. Of course, on the honeymoon. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Could be healing uh, old childhood traumas. Could be healing parental wounds as well. We know sometimes our parents like to hold us back from the true relationships that we have. Mothers in particular. <laughs> Dealing with mama's boys and daddy's uh, girls and things like that. But that's all I have for you today. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Add value to the channel, Water Science. Catch you on the next one. Peace.